Hello, hello. How are you guys? Well, I'm at my desk right now. My daughter's here, but she's been running around all day doing all my errands for me. And now she's doing another errand. And I keep working on what we're going to be doing together. <laughs> but she's not here. So she'll be here later. So I figured I would come on and I got envelopes up to my ears. <clears throat> Up to my ears, I tell you. Because that's what we're doing. So I'll turn this on so we can say hi, Lane. <laughs> oh, when I went and turned it off. Dang it. I touched my button. There. Now I'll be way behind, but well, I'll be behind in my own feed. Okay, so I really don't know what I'm doing like normal. I just see our coffee state a bunch of envelopes. And then I dug out all my different glitter because I need it. Timmel's Distress Glitter. I sold my envelopes. Okay, we copy stand them all, and we inked some. And then I sewed around with different colors. I got red, like a blue, a silver, and a pink. And then we inked up some. Some we didn't yet. Or we're not going to some either, you know. I'm behind in my own feed, so I gotta wait and see what I'm doing is working or what. <laughs> and then, uh, so I'm actually just preparing distressing envelopes to get ready, to get my Etsy shop ready for Christmas and the books I'm gonna do, but mostly just to get these in the shop. Sierra comes up and visits and we, um, gotta get her some gas money, you know, to make it home and all that. You know how we always do, she comes up and Mom, I gotta make some videos. I gotta make my gas money back. <laughs> like, okay, what do you want to make this time? <laughs> so this time we're we're gonna do envelopes. So I haven't decided what exactly I'm gonna do, but. I'll show you what I got and then we'll we'll see what's gonna happen here. So you can't tell, but pale pink thread, so copy stain on my dot pan, that takes extra work too, right? And then uh oh thanks Elaine. I grew my own nails finally my whole life. Aren't they cute? They look like well, you know. Anyway, and then I had to do my own French tip. It was really hard, but anyways. So, um, so then I just sewed around and then I'm just smearing, <laughs> just smearing. It's very technical. I know I'm going to do pink Christmas. You guys, we know we're going to do pink Christmas. Everybody just admit it. You know, you're going to go there. So you might as well just prepare. <laughs> so I'm just doing it. I'm getting ready. I'm even doing glitter. I'm going for all the whistles. Because <laughs> usually I don't 
Well, I don't want to say that because I do make a lot of a lot of ooey gooey stuff, but but Christmas we can do it guilt free. <laughs> we can put on all the bells and whistles we want. Thanks, Elaine. I love nail art. Actually, I I like to do a lot of that stuff, painting on the nails. You know, I got um pictures on my page of like old. I used to do it. You know. Weddings and all that. So I'm into it, you know. Little little art I can do. It's the big stuff that I can't. <laughs> like the big tags doing this. Oh, but the minis, you know, see, I'm okay with it. So I don't get it, you know. So I'm putting paint down, and then I'm putting gesso over that because it's too pink. And then I'm putting glitter on top of that. But I'm sure that's enough glitter now. I'll do some gilding polish instead, but it's got to dry. So I did some ahead of time. So now I can come back and gild them while you guys see. But I still want to do some more plain uh, just gesso and paint. Now I already coffee stained these, and I don't, you really don't. Usually, I don't usually like, I don't know. Some people would be like, why is she coffee staining and then putting gesso on? Why don't you just put gesso on? <laughs> <coughs> but sometimes it's fun. <laughs> That's all. That's just it. Sometimes it's fun. <laughs> you know. Because I like coffee stain envelopes, but I do like a little bit of color on them and whatever, you know. A little bit of zhuzh. So we'll just zhuzh it up. And then I'm just going to like dab up this glitter. I don't want to do more. I just want to pick up what I got on the table on this one. And then I can have some plain ones too. I need some plain ones. So we'll do white. And, you know, I always put the stamp up there and then get this. So I collect stamps, you know, Sean collects stamps. And I got a lot of stamps, you know, tons, hundreds and hundreds, you know. <laughs> and they're listed in my shop, too. You know, I sell all kinds of stamps. And I actually go through them and we take care and, you know, organizing them by category. So if we want them in our books for this or that, you know. We can. I got internationals. You know, sometimes I got, like, Gone with the Wind, or I get Winnie the Poohs, or, you know, whatever sometimes. Okay. So, I categorize some of them, and in particular, I do Christmas. So, I get lots of Christmas stamps. Okay. So, I get all my Christmas stamps. I get it all ready, and da-da-da, put them in the shop and everything. And they sell out. Of course, you know, they always do. But I didn't save none for me. <laughs> it's Christmas now, and I don't have anything stamps. You know, postage stamps. Oh, can't believe I did that. So now I'm digging and digging and digging and digging out oh, for Pete's sakes. I can't find a single dang Christmas stamp. <laughs> oh, I swear to God. <laughs> if it wasn't for Murphy's Law, I don't know if there would be any. <laughs> so here it is Christmas and I don't have one dang stamp. Can you imagine, Elaine? Well, I will. Everybody else has my stamps, but I don't have any. I don't know how I live through it sometimes. You know. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. I mean, I got silver, too. I did some of them with silver. So I'm not sure what to do. But I got silver gilding polish, so that'd be fun. So what do I do with the silver gilding polish? Just silver on silver? Should I do gesso on it? I don't know. And then I got blue, because I'm going to do blue. And then I got red, too. Look at the red with coffee and red, you know. But this, I don't think I'm going to do. I'm just going to do ink, you know, stamping. And then, you know, the um, I'm doing Tsunami Rose and Tim Holtz die cuts. Um, I went to Tsunami Rose and got all her um, mystery boxes for the Christmas. The black and whites and the color. I got all of them. 
so um, now I get to play with them. But I'm trying to set up this silver. How are we going to do silver with the gilding polish? Hmm. I don't have any, like... Hmm. I have to think about this for a minute. Well, we'll just put it on, I guess. It don't matter. We can have... I'm not going to do gesso on the red. But I'm going to do it on all the pink. So maybe I'll just have pink just be the gesso. So that's what we'll do. And I'll do... The silver something else and I'll do the red something else we'll just do it all categorized like how about that <laughs> we'll just do it like that I'll do some with glitter and some not with the pink that's what we'll do and we'll just plop it on and just see how it goes towards the end you know sometimes it doesn't look so great in the beginning <laughs> you know what I mean but then when you <laughs> then when you get going and get everything else on it, you know, this is just going to be background. I'm going to put a stamp on it, put mark my stamp, and then I'm going to put a, you know, something over here because I'm going to put something there. And then I'm going to shut it and put, you know, my decoupage, uh, Tim Holtz stuff there or Tsunami Rose, whatever I'm going to do. I like to put ephemera on the end to cover it, you know, on the edge. So... And I couldn't find my palette, so I <laughs> put my paint on top of my button can. Oh, yes. But what's really fun is... Whoops, too much. My next stuff's going to be this turquoise, and I got metallic, so I don't know if that's going to look good. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared. And then I'm going to do these, you know, my regular style when I rip the paper out and put decals on and, you know, stuff, stuff. You guys know how I make my envelopes. I do it a hundred times. And I love assembly lines, so this is super fun. Isn't it cute, Elaine? I know, see? And then it sticks out the side. When you do your pages and everything, isn't it pretty like that? Well, I was watching Lori Fusco do it. And I don't know who she watched, but you know, none of our ideas are original anymore. So <laughs> they all go round and round like a merry-go-round, you know. So, but you've seen me do it, so. <laughs> it sure is cute. I don't know if I've seen anybody do it on the envelopes, but I've seen them do it on the page edges, you know. So I decided to try it on the envelopes, too, and it's cute right there hanging off. So we'll just... And I like it when we do it, Elaine, when we do... When you shut your book like this, and you rip your pages so that you have the long one here. And then your next one a little bit shorter. Rip it so it's a little shorter, right? And then rip the next one so it's even a little shorter, right? That's how I do my books. And this one even shorter. So when you lay them out, you can see, you can see them all. It's so pretty. Ah, I love it. I'm addicted to that kind now. <laughs> yeah, really pretty. I love that. I got a couple books in my shop like that right now. My butterfly ones are set up like that. Pretty. I don't know if it's just the season or if it's the butterflies are dumb or what. I don't know, but I just don't. I thought doing butterfly books would be cool, you know, and everything. But I don't know. Nobody likes them, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So we'll see what happens. I'll have to, I don't really know what to do. I've never had this happen where I have books up and they don't sell. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I've never had it happen. <laughs> so I've been really blessed. So now I, I just never came across this scenario. So we'll see what I what happens, what happens to me when that happens. <laughs> I really don't know. I never had it happen. So all of a sudden I have all these books on the shelf. I'm like, what is going on? 
it's kind of funny. So we'll see what I do now because, you know, it's different. It's almost like, oh, I can relax now and just do what I want. All right. Did you guys hear all that? <laughs> She's at the store getting my stuff. <laughs> She's at the, um, you know, to get my prescriptions at the drugstore. <laughs> Well, I caught up on my lag on my feed now, so that makes me happy. Sorry you had to hear that, but... Yeah, maybe they're making their own now. Which is okay, because now that actually... Oh, you can barely hear me again, really? Shoot. Let me turn it up, Carrie. I'll turn it up, and then I'll... If I can. Oh, there. Let me know if that's better, Carrie, because I turned it all the way up now so we can see. If you still can't hear me, then I'll pull it down because I'm mumbling, so I kind of mumble. You can hear me, Elaine? Okay, good. So I'm just making a mess, really, Carrie. I'm not really... I got the glitter out, and I got the gesso out, and I got paint out, and I'm just messing around here, getting ready, because Sierra wants to decorate. She doesn't want to do all this kind of crap. Plus, well, it's okay, but I got her too busy. First, she had to go to Walmart for me, because you know I can't drive still, so she's running around. So, and then she took the dog, so that's extra, you know, time and messing around. She took my little Romeo with her and she bought him a new sweater and both of his favorite kind of sticks that he likes to eat. Right? And we had breakfast together and stuff. And then she came back and well, we didn't actually have breakfast. We just had toast and coffee, but I was going to say then she came back and we had a salad and brought my doggy back. And then, now she ran to the dentist to get my prescription, and then, <laughs> now she's got to go to my drugstore. I'm having surgery on the first, you know, on my teeth. <sighs> so, that's that. So anyway, I'm going to just... Start distressing these while she's running around is my point. And this pink is too dark, so I'm thinning it out with the white gesso. You know what I mean? Because it's just way too pink. And I'm going over my coffee, coffee stain envelopes. Even though that's kind of dumb, but whatever. I kind of like it because I'm still getting all the coffee stuff. I'm just putting... Just a little bit on the edges, just. And then it's gonna be a cool background because you know how I rip up my paper and put it on the edge and like, you know how I make my envelopes. So it's just gonna be another little background with my cluster or whatever I'm gonna do, you know what I mean? I'll put my stamp here and put something here and do my cancel stamp and, and I got all the Tsunami Rose She sent me the black and whites and both of the Christmas mystery boxes. So, I got plenty of collages I gotta do now. Because when you start over, at least me, I don't have any um, stash of Christmas. So, that's kind of why I dreaded starting it. Because it's like, I have to start completely over. I have nothing. You know what I mean? So you got to stop and make everything all over, you know. 
But my vintage stuff, you know, I got a stash of envelopes and a stash of tags and a stash of, you know, because I do videos and shit all the time. So, so I have a stash, but this I don't. So you got to stop and make everything. So that's what we're doing. Tis the season and ho, ho, ho and all that. So someday, though, I figure I'll have a stash of Christmas stuff. Eventually, when you're in it long enough, you get a stash of everything, I imagine, right? A stash of everything. <laughs> so, I'm going to be doing, we're going to be doing everything, you guys. Because I got to make books, you know. So, I got to make every little stinking thing, you know. So, first we're starting with envelopes. So, we're going to make sets for the store. And these are actually for my books. Because I know I'm going to do a pink Christmas. And I'm going to do a blue Christmas. And I want a vintage Christmas. So, I know I'm going to do at least three Christmas books. So, you know, I'm freaking out a little bit. Got everything. A million envelopes. <laughs> you know. Every one of them. Every one, literally... First time since I've started this that I'm actually out of envelopes. I never thought I'd see the day because I had a lot of envelopes. <laughs> but I've been copy stating them and distressing them and putting them in the shop too, see, because I had so many envelopes. I didn't ever think I would get rid of them. But I have been working at that pile and working at that pile, and this is the last of it. So I literally am out of envelopes, so that's kind of strange. <laughs> That's kind of strange, too. I'm having lots of firsts with this right now. Whatever this year is doing. God, I can't wait to get another president. This is really weird. All the stuff that's going on. I blame everything on Trump now. It's kind of fun. <laughs> kind of fun. <laughs> All right, so. Let's just... get a little you're better off dry brushing but I like it a little thick sometimes too you know but the dry brushing is nice because it just gives it a little hue you don't have to you know actually slot paint on there it's actually better kind of dry you know because then you get the I don't know I just like it and then we're going to do sheet music envelopes as well, but I'm not there yet. You know? Okay, so we did the pink. Okay, we're over the pink. We got the pink done. Oh, but we're not quite done because I did some before I got here, and we're going to polish them with this gilding polish, Pearl Luster. I've been saving it because it's silver. Ooh. And we are going to polish. I'm thinking... Unless you think that will be too much polish. Because I should silver polish the uh, silver, right? So maybe I'll just save the silver for the silver and we'll polish it then. And just leave the pink the way it is. Talking myself right out of it. Well, each one has to have a special something. Can't do them all with the same crap on it or it isn't going to be a very good mix, right? So, let's just get these red ones out of the way. These are just all going to be regular vintage. These are blue. These are going to be blue Christmas. Where's all my dang silver? You mean that's it? Well, shoot, Ola. I might have to do some more silver. Oh, I got a lot of red. Oh, I didn't do that many silver. What was I doing? How many do I got? You crazy. Okay, well that can't happen. So we'll do blue and silver together. I just gotta do more silver. But that's right. Okay, blue and silver. We'll do silver gilding polish. Comes with a little sponge, but I didn't read the directions and ruined mine right away. But if you put water on it and get it wet and then put it in there and then rinse it out when you're done, do everything like you're supposed to, it'll be alright. But I never do that. I just stick it in and do it and throw it away because <laughs> it gets wrecked because I don't do it good and all that whatever so so I just get disposable brushes and throw them out because I'm always into doing a video Who's I can't stop to go wash all my brushes 
So they all get hard. You know what I mean? So what can I do? All right, so these are coffee stained and I sew it around with blue thread or silver. So what should we do with this? Should we just smush it on? As you mean, you don't want a lot because it really is like, I'm feeling like I should put something else besides just gilding polish on it. Blue and silver. Hmm. Well, I wonder if I should do gesso and gilding polish. Or gesso and paint. I did bring this. Uh, where is it? Let me look here. Here it is. I did bring this uh, metallic or just this color. I love this color. Kind of like a robin's egg, but not a little darker. So let's see. Let's just try some of this just for kicks. I know, I just feel like that goes over the top, Elaine. Like, I want to do something to it first before I put that on. You know what I mean? To me, that's like frosting, right? Let's do something to it first. Then we'll put it on. Ooh, wow, is that going to be pretty? Okay, so if we do this with the gesso, then it should be, like, a little bit calmer, right? Yeah, let's just put that silver on the top. So let's just do some distressing here. I've got paint, gesso, and glitter. I got Tim Holtz Distress Glitter, and then I got this, so we can do two kinds. If I got enough, I didn't do enough blue, I guess, but, but we'll just see how it goes here. Okay, so let's try, ooh, I'm scared. Let's try, oh, I guess we'll do the color on the bottom. That's what I was doing. And then we'll, put the gesso on the top because I'm going to put gilding polish over that and this is already metal so it's like it'll be good if I ooh that's pretty ooh that's kind of shiny too oh boy that's really pretty okay I love a turquoise Christmas. You know, that's the color of my tree. I don't like this now that I started with the brush strokes. But I'll cover it up with gesso. Ooh. That's pretty. <laughs> it's metallic folk art from Walmart. 95 cents. Yeah, this is good stuff. Especially over top of the coffee. Gee, I know. Look, Elaine. And then... <laughs> so, it'll be cool because what I'll do now is... I'll put just over top of this, which is flat. Right? And then we'll put the gilding polish over the top, which is another shine. So, I don't know. We'll just see. I have no idea. But this looks cool. I like it. I like it just like this. I almost want a stencil over this. I don't have any Christmas stencils. You know what I mean, though? I almost want a stencil on this now that I'm looking at it. And then put the... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What could I stencil on here, though? I just don't have... Christmas stencils, like, I guess not. I guess we won't, but anyway, that looks cool. All right, let's just do some more, because I got, I got this brush all with this stuff on it, so one step at a time. We'll do this first. 
I like it drier. Drier, kind of the better. And then you're only hitting the high parts, you know, which is neat. Then if you kind of go in every direction, you get rid of your brush strokes, you know. But, you know, you really could. I really could have done something else underneath this. I didn't know this was going to come out like this. But, you know, we could have had stamping or something under it. You know what I'm saying? Or any something under this would be really cool. I just wasn't prepared for it to look like this, actually. So... I don't have anything. I'm trying to think right now while we're doing this what I could do to it. But I have to have all these look the same. So, because, you know, for listings in my shop, you know, you have to have a quantity of one thing. So, so now they all have to be like this. But I'm just thinking for you guys are my next ones. If you did so your stenciling first and then put this over the top, ooh, it would be neat, right? Or I could stencil over top of this. Hmm. This is so cool. I just don't have anything Christmas stenciling. That's the thing. You know? I mean, I have all the Tim Holtz stuff, but it, no Christmas stencils, you know? Hmm. Well, anyway, let's just keep going. <laughs> all the talking isn't doing anything, is it? But once you work with something, then next time, you know, you learn it, you know, and then next time you can do something else. I don't care how many videos you watch until you actually go use it and do it. You're not going to know. I never would have guessed. That this is what it would look like. But this would be good for mermaid stuff. Ocean stuff. And Christmas stuff. Anything magic. Ooh. Pretty. Or under the sea. Righty Lane. Can you imagine if we mix this one with some uh, water, you know, like blue? Ooh. It would be total mermaid. Wouldn't it? can't wait till I see what it looks like with the gesso on it. Yeah, mermaid would be nice. Well, yeah, because then once you watch somebody, then you realize, oh, yeah, you guys don't have to have that step because you've seen me do it. <laughs> now you'll know. That's cool, right, Elaine? Benefit. <laughs> and I like to just hit it dry and like this, and you're just going over the tops. See how you're just getting the top, the top of the crunchies top of the wrinkles if you keep your dry brush I love the way that looks Ooh. Ooh, I love this my goodness So cool. It's 
really is mermaid because I put this on the great pan. When I do this one, it's totally going to look like a mermaid. I love this. Well, let's see how many more. Yeah, I got a few more here yet. And we can go back through and put the gesso on. Yeah, the scales, huh? This is going to be so cool. I might have to save this one and put it in my stash for... <laughs> I haven't done a mermaid one. Anything mermaid yet. I did that dragon one. That would have been cool too. on my brush this time so I got to spread it around first <laughs> this does look neat with the scales isn't that cool? <laughs> That's a neat one, ain't it? Oh boy, I might have to keep that one. <laughs> he loved it. It was a big hit. He wouldn't put it down and all his friends were there and they're like, come on, Owen. You know, he's at his party and he wants to sit and play with the book. His mom made him put it down. <laughs> <laughs> so that was really cute. It's like, oh, we need to play with that later. Got company. I was like, wow. <laughs> 16, you know. So cute. And here's the dot pan. I bet you it'll look cool with the dots, too. And then never fear because anywhere, if you don't like it, you're going to put gesso on. So you can't really make a mistake, you know. You can just keep putting it on. This one's real dark. <laughs> I'm going to put a lot of gesso on that one. <laughs> kind of just letting it do what it's going to do now without being so guarded and just see, but it's getting a little dark, so maybe I won't. A little too much shine, but I'll just put more gesso over it. It'll be all right. And then it's going to have, you know, stamping, and I'm going to, well, I think... And then I'm going to put, you know, rip up papers and put, you know, Christmas stuff on the top, you know. So it's all background anyways. This 
is so neat. I'm just saying. That is cool. Okay, and the silver. I just want to put silver on it, so that's all I'm going to do. Just like I did to that stuff, only silver. Ah, that's blue still. Dang it. One left. I just feel like I shouldn't do this yet. This dang frosting. Right? With these, I feel like I... I feel like I want to decoupage these. So... You know, before I put that silver on. Hmm. So maybe I won't. And decoupage these first. Okay, so what I was going to do then is go back through with gesso. Okay. Here's all my blue ones. And now we'll do gesso and see how that works. I don't know really. Yeah, I kind of want to put decoupage on those, but I don't know. I haven't decoupaged any envelopes yet, so I need some. Right? I don't know how I want to do this yet. I'm thinking I might want to use a different tool so it's a different like texture, but... But I don't know what to use. Um, I'm looking here, over here, and through my brushes to see. Uh, I kind of want to use a different brush, you know? Uh, well, I don't know. We'll just try. Or something. Maybe I should... Well, let's just see what it does. Oh, yeah. It does what Gesso does. <laughs> Which we like, right? So we'll just kind of... Smoosh it over the top and... Put it over any dark spots. And just kind of let it do its thing, right? Try it. Or you could put just on the bottom and then Right? The silver paint on the top, too. Either way. Either way, this is cool. Hi, Noelle. We are using metal folk art paint I got from Walmart. It's pretty cool. And it makes the envelopes like this. I didn't know it was going to do that, so we're discussing we could put stenciling on first and then put this over the top for like a topping or so we're just trying different things. I wasn't prepared for it 
to look like this. It looks really neat. We we're looking at like, look what, over the great pan. It looks like scales. I don't know. It's just cool. It looks like the gilding polish. And I had to spend $13 for this. And I got this at 89 cents at Walmart. So I'm just like, dang. So anyway, it's a little too shiny. So now I'm going over it with some gesso. But I was saying we could use gesso first. And then put the shiny stuff over it. And then I sewed with the same color thread, blue. So we're doing blue envelopes. We're doing pink envelopes. We're doing red envelopes. We're doing silver. I'm doing Christmas, Christmas. We're getting all ready. Because I'm putting envelopes in the shop. And Sierra's here. She's shopping for me right now. And we're going to make sets for her. To make some gas money back home. <laughs> And then I'm going to use the rest for my book. So I need a bunch of envelopes for the season. You know what I mean? I just need a bunch of envelopes. So we're just screwing around here. Playing around. I got the um, Tsunami Rose um, mystery boxes. You know, all the die cuts. So I'm going to use them. Look at them. I got the black and whites and the... All these. You get 50 die cuts already cut out and they're all vintage, you know. So... So I'm hoping... Then I'm going to do pink Christmas. So I don't know. I got to find some pink Christmas shit. And then I can put it on there. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. I'll dig them out and show you guys. I haven't really got to, like, look at them, look at them much. But she sent them, and so I'm like, yes. So I'm going to get them out. And... But I can see that they're not going to be, like, this color. This is, like, Tsunami Rose style. Uh, like, um... Her other stuff, you know, like ripped out of her kits. And then I have um, the Tim Holtz, too. But with this stuff, I'll probably use, like, my old, like, paper. Because these Tsunami Rose die cuts are traditional red, green, yellow. You know, they're not, like, the cutie colors. You know what I mean? I love them. And I'm going to use them on my red envelopes. See, these ones. So they'll look good, see, with the red and the trees and the ink and stuff, you know what I mean? So these will look really good. So for that, but for these, I'm going to have to get some other kit or something else or wrapping paper or something crazy to go with it because there's not much pink in here. But we'll, we'll see. Noelle, did you send me that box of boxes? <laughs> <laughs> Did you send me that box of boxes? <laughs> I haven't got the mail yet today, though. Hasn't came. I was dying to find out who I couldn't. I haven't been able to post it yet. Because, like I said, my daughter got here and we've been hanging out. I haven't seen her in two months. So I haven't, and then the box of boxes came, and Sean was home, and he opened it up, and she was here too, so we were all digging in it. We're all trying to decide what to do with these boxes, you know, and Sean's like, oh, I want one to put my stamps in, and Sierra's like, oh, I want this one, and like, oh, I want to put my tarot deck in this one, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, well, you know why they're sending these to me, because we're making jewelry boxes for our boho beads. That's why they're sending them. But I don't know if it was you or because Cheryl, I think, I don't know. I can't remember if it was Cheryl that, no, I think, I can't remember now, but it's so hard to what goes on to remember every single thing that goes on. So I was wondering, because it doesn't say who's on there. So I didn't know if it was you or Cheryl, because every time I get mail from Cheryl, she never puts her name on there. So I always know it's her. 
Was it you? I'm dying to find out <laughs> who it was. But I've been, like I said, I've been distracted because my kid just got here. I haven't got any queen mail today. <laughs> no queen mail today. You should see, you guys. I got a whole box of wooden cigar boxes. They are just so pretty. I like the white one with the, um... It's got like a little lock. It's really pretty. I don't know. I'm just trying to decide what to do. Or if I should put journals in them. I really don't know. You guys got to see them. I'll have to show them to you. They're really cool. I like the um little square ones. It's really cool. I like the little, or like long and skinny like this, these square ones. They're really neat. Me and Sierra are fighting over the white ones. Yeah, Noelle, you sent me. Oh, did you? Oh my God, I love them so much. Thank you. <laughs> we're, we're all fighting over them to decide who gets what. And I tell them, everybody back away. <laughs> I'm the queen and I get first pick. <laughs> I get first pick. <laughs> I'm yelling at everybody. Get back. <laughs> this is mine. Get back. <laughs> Stay back. Away from the goods. <laughs> Noel. It was me. It was me. <laughs> I figured you were having some kind of issue. Oh my gosh, Elaine, you should see them. They're pretty. I'll show them to you if you want me to get them. I haven't posted them in group yet, so. They're pretty. I think I'm going to reuse that box, Elaine, for my mom. <laughs> I've been looking for a box to send my mom a box <laughs> so I might recycle your box just what I needed I was just saying I need a big box there so this gesso kind of toned it down some some of the shine you know chilled it out a little bit I love the dew drops. Yeah, but I'm almost out. I know I quit using it here for a minute. Yep, it works on the glossine too. You can do it with all this stuff. The dew drops works, the polish works like that. And I bet you this paint would work like that too, but we were just dry brushing it on. That is so pretty. I love it. Yeah. Yep, they cut, you get gold, silver, and like copper or something with the dew drops. It's pretty neat. Usually. The dew drops look like this, Elaine. I'll show you. And I do the waxes the same way, Noelle. I put it on the thing and the dew drops are I'm looking for them, Elaine, right now. Right here. They're what I usually use. This stuff they're called uh brilliance. That galaxy gold that's on a sponge. And then I go like this and spread it around here. And then you know how I do it. Slide it in. Ooh, this stuff's really good. Galaxy gold. It comes with a copper and then another, I think, I can't remember what color, but it's really good. And these waxes are good too. Hmm. All right. So now in the silver, I just need more. And I have to figure out what I'm going to do with it actually. And then we didn't use any Tim Holtz distress glitter on this either. I was gonna, but I figure like this is enough. I don't know. And then put glitter on top of it too. Whew. Maybe a lot. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then we got the silver, but I feel like I need more silver. And then the red, we just inked. So I'm not really going to do 
anything with that either. I guess. Right? So let me look back now through my pink ones. And see what we got going on because they're dry. We did pink and white and some glitter too. So these are really pretty. Some of it is stippling so it might look like snow because I know I'm going to put like a picture down here, you know, or something. So I was just, and then this one's just white with glitter. You know, just making, then I sew it all around with the pale pink thread. So they're all different. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to do is envelopes with this. My only problem is I forgot my parchment. Well, so what I'll do is I'll clean up put all this stuff away and clean up and come back and then this time I bet you cereal will be home and we can make sheet music sandwiches. I'll show you how to make a sheet music sandwich. <laughs> right? It'll be fun. <laughs> okay. Hey, thanks for coming in. See y'all later. Yeah, I'm going to come back in.